Hey there, it's Justin from the Book Like a Boss team. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can actually customize your uh, the emails that are getting sent out to your customers, like the confirmation email, the reminder emails, and the text messages and everything that goes along with that. So there's two ways that this works. Uh, you can set this at a global level, or you can set this at a per package or per appointment or per per service basis. And what that means is if you're setting something at a global level, that text that you set for that confirmation email, that follow-up, whatever it is, is going to apply to all of your appointments and all of your services across your entire account. And for some people who don't have super specific and different appointments that are super unique, that could potentially work really well. So I'll show you how to do that first. But then if you do want to actually customize it on a per appointment basis, I'll show you how to do that second. So for setting it at the global level, just go in here to other settings, sorry, not other settings, uh, page settings, and go down to text, colors, and fonts. And you'll see right here, you've got email messages. And this is where you can essentially modify everything that has to do with um, again, at a global level, like the confirmation email message, the rescheduled email message, um, cancellations, pendings, and offline messages. So that's where you're going to do that. And anything that you set here is going to apply to all of your appointments, assuming they are using the global templates. Now, if you want to do this on an individual basis, if I go in here to my booking pages, and as an example, I go to my appointments, go in here to let's chat, and I'll edit this one. So in here we're going to have as an example reminders and follow-ups so this is where you're going to actually edit these reminders that are going to be going out so this an email reminder for example is where i want to go in and add in another one and then of course if i click on this i can change you know the hours and the times and everything like that that they're going out or i can choose whether or not it's an email or whether it's um, sms same thing about follow-ups you can do that after the appointment adds essentially works the same way as it does for reminders but here, follow-ups, you can add those in as well. Now, if you're wanting to change what's actually going to go inside of those, I'm going to click on this little uh, envelope icon at the top here, and that's where you're going to be able to change, for example, hey, this is a confirmation email, and this is going to be at the appointment level itself. Now, you can click on global, in which case it'll remove your ability to use any of this, and none of it will matter, and it'll just pull from that global template from where I showed you earlier. But if I take that off and it's not checked, then yes, here, whatever this text is that I write for the confirmation email, for the rescheduled email, anything like that is going to be only specific to this appointment. So that's how you modify and you edit those. Um, in terms of actually editing the text or something like the follow-up, that is still templated. So if you come in here, for example, uh, we just go back to you know, the follow-ups and the reminders or whatnot. The reminders, sorry, the follow-ups at this time, you can add one in. And you're going to have this here. You can put in whatever you want your custom text to be or whatnot. Um, but this is going to be specific to this appointment. There isn't an option yet to make that global. So um, just remember that anything you put here, you are going to need to set this for each individual appointment. But here you can choose, of course, you know how long after you had that appointment, this will go out. And you can set up all the settings and do everything just fine that way. If you have any other questions on this, please feel free to reach out to us using the chat icon in the bottom right hand corner. It's the best way to get in touch with us. And we're always answering your messages there.